Washington State. Here to talk about that matchup with head coach Mark D'Antoni. So football school, man. Afternoon, guys. Uh, very excited about the opportunity to play Washington State in the Holiday Bowl. You know, I've coached for uh, I don't know 30 plus seasons right now, and um, basically everything I've ever heard about the Holiday Bowl is is extremely first class. Been a great uh, great bowl game throughout the years. Um, it's a place we've not gone yet, uh, so we're very excited about the the uh, you know the Southern California alumni base and uh, Arizona base as well, being able to see us play. Uh, Washington State, another uh, top 20 opponent, so it gives us an opportunity to play uh, against a quality top 20 opponent and um, an opportunity to win 10 football games, which um, is very exciting to us as we move forward in, in the process here. So uh, I think we'll leave out of here probably the 22nd, and the game will be on the 28th. So um, I'll take some questions. We'll get, sort of go from there. Mark, you have tried in the last couple of seasons with success establishing a recruiting foothold in California. So can this be a blessing for people that maybe thought Florida but going yeah. there for recruiting? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, you have a name out there. We have a, we have a national name that we can go out there. We've got different people out in that, in that area, that alumni base, and uh, we've had some players out there in the past. So I do think that, that um, it can create a little bit of a buzz out there for us. Um, but it uh, remains to be seen, I guess. A long way to go. Mark, can you talk a little bit about the process involved in, in getting to San Diego and, and some of the other stuff that, that had been going on over the last few days with Florida potentially? Well, you know, college football is a buzz. You know that. Um, I think that there's there's no question about that, that, you know, everything sort of gets worked through a variety of channels and everything. All I can do is, as, as a football coach every single week is get ready for the people that we're playing against um, and look for a quality opponent to play against. And... You know, I think what, that's what we have. So knew that um, it would be one of three bowls. Depends how everything sort of shakes out. And uh, um, I thought all three bowl games gave us a great opportunity to showcase our talents and to um, play a, you know, a great football team. And so that's where we're going, and we're going to get excited. Mike Leach is an excellent football coach. Their their football team, I think, very much like us, that uh, probably was one game out of being, you know, playing in a championship type type game for the conference. Uh, so they've beaten, I think they beat USC. I think they beat Oregon and Stanford this year. So they're a quality football team. And, you know, always will be exciting to play against Coach Leach team. Press conferences will be great. Mark, the, the natural fan reaction naturally is they see Michigan chosen by the Outback Bowl. Two fewer wins, lost head to head there. What, what is your sort of message to them? And what, what, I mean, I'm sure some of your players feel the same way when they see that, that slight a little bit. Well, I just look at it as an opportunity to play the Holiday Bowl right now, and you know, um, you know, the records are what they what they are. You know, I'll just continue to concentrate on beating Michigan and let this thing sort of sort out. Coach, uh, can you kind of give your uh, thoughts based on Alabama getting in at number four in the playoff over uh, Alabama? No Big Ten teams in the playoff. Uh, I think it's extremely competitive. You know, at the top, and you know, you're, you're slicing things very, very thin. Obviously, Alabama has a tremendous football team, as does Ohio State. Um, so I, I don't really know what to say about that. I'm not, you know, I guess I'm a major college football coach, but you know, to me, um, you leave out two conferences is difficult. You know, that's a difficult scenario, and I'm sure that weighed on everybody. But um, that's not for me to say. I do know that Ohio State is an outstanding football team, and we had a tough time against them this year. And, um, you know, there's a lot of good football teams out there. I mean, that's, that's, um, that's been demonstrated over and over by really the parity in college football right now. And uh, so you got to look at that and try and figure it out. Really, I think everybody probably in America probably has, a, um, probably has some type of weigh-in on this. Mark, just piggybacking off Graham's question, never mind who got in. We're, we're, I know San Diego is like one of the great places in America to go. Yeah. But was there any disappointment prestige-wise not to be at a New Year's Day Bowl? Well, I have to concentrate on playing in a top-20 football game. I think you, you, you tend to want to play on New Year's Day. But San Diego is a beautiful place, and I think it probably represents, it's probably like the Citrus Bowl, Outback Bowl in, in California. I think it takes that, that next-tier team that's not in the championship game and, uh, and runs with it. And uh, they've done a tremendous job in the past from everybody that I've ever known that has gone to the Holiday Bowl. Uh, they have said tremendous things about the experience, the player experience, family experience, the bowl experience in general. 
So um, I'm looking forward to that, and um, I'll go out there. I think, uh, I believe next week I'll go out there for a press conference. So I'll look forward to seeing seeing it first up, you know, up close, personal. Mark, for you guys for having such a young team getting those, I think it's was it 15 bowl practices. How crucial are those for just your development to guys, but you didn't have last year? Yeah, it's going to be crucial for our development. I think as much as anything, playing a uh, another football game. You know, allows our guys to gain great experience and playing a game, a bowl game against a great opponent gives our guys additional experiences. Um, you know, the, the bowl numbers of practices that always does vary because there's a fine line between overtraining, I think, and and, um, and getting ready. So we'll be ready to play that football game and and uh, we'll start working on Washington State tomorrow. Mark, I know there's. You win nine games, and the focus the last few days is on where you go and who you're ahead of, and, and all that. But when you when you rewind back to the start of the season before you played a game and think about everything this program went through the past year, can you try and sum up what it means to be at this point to be playing in a, in a fairly high rate of bowl game, nine wins, basically how much how far you've come as a program in the short time? Yeah, first of all, as I've said before, we're we're used to being there. You know, we have a football team that was in the playoffs two years ago. Uh, so that's a positive, I think, for everybody. I think everybody can draw on that and understand the culture that's here and the, the substance and, and how we've played over a period of time. Uh, obviously, we didn't play in a bowl game last year, and um, we sort of got ourselves squared away and, and pushed back up to the top a little bit. Uh, so I think it's very important. We probably have 60 players plus that have not had a bowl experience. So I think it's very important that they have that experience and um, and enjoy that experience, but understand that that it's about winning football games, it's about winning. There is definitely a difference between going to a bowl game and winning it and, and going there and not winning. So we're going to focus on what we can and make sure that we come out of there with a 10th win, which not too many people in the country have an opportunity to win 10, win, 10 games. Mark, how many uh, Mike Leach uh, press conferences have you seen? And are there any joint press... I'm going to get on YouTube here and <laughs> check them out. <laughs> how many, are there any joint press conferences? The two? I mean, that, that could be a, an odd experience for you as well. You know, I visited with Mike last year at the Fiesta Frolic, and um, so it's all good. I look forward to seeing him. No, I missed that one. What was it? Well, I'll have to check out his YouTube, I guess. We'll start practice. We'll have a couple practices this weekend coming up. They'll be a little bit more te technique oriented, and then we'll uh, we'll hit bowl practices after uh, after exams next week. We have exams next week. This coming weekend. This coming weekend we'll practice. Mark, you, you kind of addressed that you just want to focus on who you're playing and the bowl game you're in, but did you have to kind of like get your guys to bounce back from like maybe seeing the disappointment? Because you can see some of them tweeting about, you know, being passed over for the Outback Bowl. Do you have to kind of be like, this is where we're going, regroup? Hey, you know, life's about how you handle disappointments. Okay, I would not say going to the Holiday Bowl is a big disappointment. I'm excited about it. Um, very excited about the opportunity. Um, so, you know, that's where we're going to play. And... Um, Pac-12, Big Ten have a, has a has a great uh, relationship, historic relationship, so uh, we better get ready to play. So that's all I can focus on right now. And uh, again, excited that the holiday Holiday Bowl picked us uh, to come and represent the Big Ten at that uh, at that at that forum. And um, San Diego is a tremendous place. I know that uh, there's about 15 to 20 thousand people in Southern California that are very excited. I would say so. Um, we're going to California, and we're, we're looking forward to it. Thanks.